back again to our project JW Solar USC Minnesota thanks for watching like I said before I have unfinished business and you've seen now you've seen what I was trying to do I'm waiting for parts I'm waiting uh, in cash or how are we gonna do this project it's not easy to transition from one technology or from one manufacturer to the other so this is what I was preparing and this is what uh, we have accomplished and you can see we have uh, two charge controllers MPPT smart charge controllers it is uh, 15070TR 15070TR the can bus you can see V can and we have a server GX we have um, a Lynx power in plus fuses is a 80 amp that's gonna get 70 well, I can get 70 so I guess um, 80 amp fuse I'm gonna be putting into this uh, Lynx power in to wire the charge controllers and uh, I can even have the uh, the uh, silver GX to be in there so I'm trying to think a best way how to put that thing to put everything together that's the silver GX the box right there and I have all of the Lynx distributors and a Lynx power in three Lynx power in the three from here to there and uh, you can see the Lynx distributor right here so I'm trying to put this system together. This system is huge, and I'm just showing you part of it. And you guys already seen some of these equipments come in. Uh, we have the inverter, yeah, 48 volt. So two 70 amp MPPT charge controller links power in for a bus that can take all the way to 70. No, sorry, uh, 1,000 amps. So. You can see the, how you're going to put the end to these terminators. That's the word I'm looking at. The terminators are here. Uh, for These are all for the um, tanks and temperature stuff. And uh, you see exactly on the box how everything is put together so it is the guy right here okay so I'm facing some kind of difficulties how to um, position these devices and I decided to um, see if I can able to Uh, put the um, silver GX at the center in the center right here or I can push these links power in further so because of this the links power in comes with um, a sticker this is the original print I can able to flip this guy over so that you can see like upside down but I have a sticker that I can put to face this way to face me so all the wires but I don't know I think the silver GX is already on the way but I want to make sure that silver GX all the communication the V direct and this one has a V direct and also a can a VE can which I can able to connect into these guys here the links uh, the server GX so if I decided to bring this guy forward and take this guy out the communication cables will have to be um, equal for parallel connection it's not like this guys here this guy is supposed to be like the same cable the distance you're gonna be uh, linking these guys together 
with all batteries, they have to be on the same length and so that they can be any kind of interference to the batteries the way they charge. But right now, I think, I don't know what um, the best way to get this thing because it's just kind of way on, it's on the way. Maybe I can move this guy on this other side and tell me what you think on your on the description below so what to do so that we can go from there so i need you guys input but i gotta take this guy out maybe i have to move this guy closer here and um by doing so i have to get a sticker and i gotta remove this cover these uh 80 amp fuse I don't know you can see it they're there right there here so they have to go across the bus this one's this one's here so this one is terminated that's why anything you have just keep everything because you might need it later so this is the, you got a positive you got a negative right here negative on the bottom okay the positive here so the fuse go across goes across here so tell me what you think on the description below i bought um packs of 80 amps so 10 of them then i got 15 of the 100 amps because i have the uh, big boy i want to connect into this thing that's why these buses are here this is the other part of the um project i was telling you about see i have a big charge controller here the mppt rs 400 450 100t so i have a communication thing here so jx and i have two of these multi plus two 48 3000 there is one here, then I have the touch display, the touch 50, right here. So, I, it was a process. I'm I'm trying to put all these things together, transforming from, you know, from Outback, Victron, uh, sorry, Magnums, and all the cool stuff machines I have to these guys. It takes some time to do this. Some people has all the money, have all the money to do uh, a, a, a swift transition so for me i have to <laughs> pick some nickels and dimes how to go about this and uh some people are laughing at me so i said yeah you have all those equipments and i wish i have those hey don't get me wrong don't i'm not it doesn't mean i'm not grateful i am grateful but it takes a hard work to get all these things in place so this is the thing and i want to thank you guys for watching my videos all this stuff i i paid with my money and um it takes some time you know so um i don't know what you guys think but let me know on the description below how to go about this and we can set this system once and for all once and for all here goes the other Victron, the Multi Plus. Um, for um, 48 volts, 3000 watts. This is different from the other one. This is the, um, just the um, single face. Uh, sorry, uh, this is the US version. So. You can see this is different from the other one. No, sorry. This is the single face. Which is the international. You see, that's the 230 volts right here. Uh, um, my mistake. So, and this is one of the system. It's already mounted. And it's going to be incorporated with um, the other system you saw out there. With the two MPPT charge controllers. While I already have the big ones i have two of those the charge controller the four 
uh, RS um, um, 450 100. I have two of them. All right. Uh, C is, be is believing for the people. This is the one I'm talking about here. You see it. The RS 450 100T. This is going to go with the big boys. And um, that's for the um, 3000 watt for the 8 volts. The international, the single face. These two boys. This one. This one here. They're going to be working in conjunction to each other. With the Sovo GX right here. So that's going to make me put my panels far away, long distance, and I can able to bring the power without losing, having a voltage drop. So some people don't like seeing uh, solar panels, but they love the power. I don't understand that. How can you go off grid and be a solar person that you don't like seeing solar panels? It's really confusing to me how some people like, oh, I don't want to see them. I want them way far away from my house where I can't even see them. They're ugly, but you love the power. I don't understand it. That really, really got me. For me, I must say for the people, as for me, I love seeing this stuff. Every day gives me joy and happiness because you know what? I'm free from all these problems with uh, other people facing all kind of problems uh, with power, I don't worry about it. You know, power is my less, is my, you know, one of my less problems. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, my less worries. That's the word I'm looking for. My least worries. So, and some people is one of their major problems. You know, I've been doing this now over 10 years. You know, in the U.S. So the international version, um, that's the win-win thing because, you know, overseas, my project overseas, you will see it soon, and the channel is already built, and you will see what we're trying to achieve with all these massive systems, uh, Outback, Magnums, and all the other cool stuff, uh, Midnight. So you have to see, wait and see what is coming right on the channel. We're going to show you our homestead and um, base in Africa. All right. Our solar homestead is coming soon, live from Africa with the JW Solar USA. These are all the equipment. Stay tuned. And we're going to go through this. And we're going to go through that. I need one more screen. A Touch 70. This is a Touch 50. I have three Sovo GX. Well, the Sovo S GX. The Sovo S. So this is just the uh, Sovo GX. And I have the S, which you can deal with. Um, it has less functionality for... Um, if you don't have to do tanks, you don't have to do other things, you don't have something, some things. I think I made a video about it. So these are all the equipment. Stay tuned while we're going to be bringing you more from this channel. It has been a while, but welcome again to the channel with the JW Solar USA live from Minnesota. That's another Solar GX right here. I have another one in the, um, in the box. Love you guys all. Stay tuned. Tell me. How am I supposed to reposition this guy here? Because this one is already on the way. I already screw it all the way down. If this guy can come up here and get the wires from the battery side all the way into this guy, then I'm going to be having a solar disconnect, which I already have. And there's going to be coming the PV coming from these wires coming to the, the knob, you know, PV up to about um, uh, 1000 volt to um i think it's up to about 2000 volt so i'm going to be utilizing here the disconnect's going to be here and it's going to be here and uh the battery is coming from there is coming to here so this side here and here so this guy is going to be 
controlling these guys while um, the other guys like this one's going to be a separate but the inverter is going to be talking through the Sovo GX. Sovo GX is talking with them. Everything I'm going to go to the uh, Victon remote monitor VRM online then I can able to see this one anywhere in the world and I can able to share with you guys and make a live link there you cannot change the parameters but you can see what the consumption is it's amazing well how many sun we have um in africa you know you can get up to about 10 11 hours of sun you know so it's a massive so we're going to be running a lot of stuff with these equipments right here at jw solar usa live from minnesota i know uh, it has been a while i've made a video but i'm back thanks for watching